The current state of mathematics in the country is not good at all. It's, it's the averages are just dropping and dropping and dropping and even the love for maths. A lot of jobs require you to have maths. I don't think people realize that maths is part of graphic design, being a carpenter, you know, building your own skateboards. Mathematics is literally all around us. If you open the look at the cars of your I want to bring those things into the classroom because those are things kids relate to. My name is Kurt Miller. I'm a mathematics teacher at Even Donges High School. Even Donges is based in Kraifontein in Cape Town. Who am I? I'm trying to get down to, to the kids' level, you know, to make things fun. To, to really bring the lesson across in the way that they would understand it, in the way that they absorb the real world out there. They come to school and they see, you know, they're on their phones, they're on their tablets, and they come into the class, and, and somehow there's just a separation, and they come to this other world, and it's, it seems really dull and boring. So according to educational experts and research, you get predominantly four types of learners. You know, you get your, your kinesthetic learner. That's the learner that needs to move. Then you get your auditory learner. Uh, uh, they learn through hearing. And then you get your visual learner. This learner needs to see um, on what's happening to learn. And then you get your read-write learner, which is the, the more traditional way of learning. If we taught that those kids in the way they learn, we'll definitely see better results. The beauty of music is, I mean, and most people know this, they must have experienced it before. You listen to a song, later today you'll sing the song even though you didn't want to memorize the song. They'll easily just listen to this track and afterwards, within a few minutes, you'll see that they'll know their multiple. And I mean, that you can apply to any number, and that's basically what we're doing at the moment with the tracks. <laughs> I'm a hip hop dancer. I started doing hip hop on a two or three, four years after matric. I would think that I was pretty successful, uh, done local hip hop international champs, won a few of those cap competitions. Okay, so what we're going to do now is, guys, um, we're going to teach you choreography, and this will help you remember the orders of operation. Okay, so remember how to apply pod mass. Division, it's over here. Multiplication. Addition, subtraction. I just incorporate my dance into, you know, your mainstream school education. Now we know the order of operation. It's also going to be easy to remember because if we do this part mass dance a few times, you're naturally going to remember it's called muscle memory. Mr. Kurt Minar, he always tells me don't never give up. My family is not educated, so I'm the first one to be in their school. My marks improved very well. First term, I got about 40 to 30 percent. Now, my average is 80 and 70. I'm not lower than 80 and 70 percent. When it came to maths, specifically in school, uh, I was an average student because I was, I was too busy. I sympathize with these learners and, and that inspired me and motivated me to really think of how do these learners learn? What do we need to do to get through to them? Because I need to become the teacher that I may be needed for these kids. And I need to do it in this lifetime. These are South African heroes. 